Hi you guys. Welcome back to Bright Violet Arts. My name is Valerie and today I am setting up a new fitness journal to track my weight loss efforts and fitness efforts over the next six months. My theme for this notebook is a celebration of the curvaceous woman and I'll be doing all the artwork with a pack of Colors of the World markers by Crayola. Okay, so I have a new notebook here that I'm excited about. It's from Archer and Olive, and it is a size B6 notebook. It is smaller than my normal A5 notebook that I use for bullet journaling. This is a pack of Crayola Colors of the World broadline markers. They come in a pack of 24, and I paid $5.50 for mine at Walmart. And I'm going to use these markers not only to do all the artwork in my journal today, but also to highlight the text that I use in the different spreads. Other materials today are going to be fine liners in a couple of sizes, two gel pens in gold and white, and then I've got a paint pen. I have a thin one in black and a thick one in gold. I also selected some washi tape from my collection. I'm going with some neutral brown, beige, and pink colors. I'm going to dive right in and start with my nameplate design. This is the same style of hand lettering that I use in all of my notebooks to write my name. I just change up the color to match the theme of the notebook every time. So I'm going to start this notebook off with an index or a table of contents page here. If you have seen my previous fitness journal video, then you'll recognize some of these spreads as covering a lot of the same information that I put in the last notebook. I have managed to tweak a lot of these spreads though, just to change up small details that I think will make them function even better this time around. If you haven't seen my previous fitness journal video and you'd like to, I do have it linked above. And if you're curious about how it worked out for me, um, I am happy to share that I was able to lose about 25 pounds uh, during the time I used that notebook. So it was a success. I didn't quite hit my goal that I set of losing 50 pounds, but I think 25 pounds is a, is a great achievement and I'm very happy with you know, how the records keeping worked out in the bullet journal. So the spread that I'm working on now is gonna be my Monday morning weight tracker. And this is a spread where it's, you know, it's very simple, I'm just, going to write in my weight uh, every Monday morning over a six month period from January 1st through the end of June. And the dates that I have listed in this chart are every Monday that falls in that time period. To fill some of this white space, I'm just using my gold gel pen and a stencil to stencil in some little stars. The next spread is also going to record my weekly weight. It's actually going to take the same data points that I get from weighing myself on Monday mornings and I'm going to plot them this time on a line graph instead of on a table. So this way I can actually see like a little zigzagging line, hopefully that's you know going downward as I lose weight. So along the bottom I'm just putting the dates, every Monday's date that I'll weigh. And then along the left hand side in that blank area, I will put my weight range after I'm done filming this video. And I'm giving a little face transplant here to my drawing. I, I was not happy with her original face, so I just glued on a piece of scrap paper over top and I'm coloring it in and you really can't even tell, it worked out great. So this third spread is going to be a measurements tracker and I will be taking my measurements once a month and just noting down, you know, my measurements in inches for each body part on this chart. I loved drawing this particular illustration because I enjoyed the pleated effect that I got with her skirt there just by drawing the marker strokes down in a way where they didn't quite touch each other. Now over on the chart, I'm making seven columns to cover the six months of this notebook. The extra column there is because I need a start point. So I'm going to have my measurements every month at the, the last day of the month, but in January I'll have it twice because on January 1st I'll take my original starting point measurements. 
I really liked this page. I thought it turned out so cute. Okay, next up, this is a workout tracker. So I thought it would be cute to draw my illustration here with a woman in a yoga pose, since yoga is one of the activities that I will be color coding for in my chart. The chart that I'm building is actually a calendar, and so every row is uh, 31 days across, and I'm just going to X out the days that don't exist in a particular month. And then I'm going to color code um, these boxes if I go to the gym. I've got cardio, weight, and yoga for the different color options for my activities. Okay, my next spread is a strength training progress tracker. And essentially it's going to record how much stronger I'm getting over a six month period. So I'm going to start by measuring how much weight I can lift with my best effort on January 1st on 10 different weight machines at my gym. They're part of a circuit training station and I just go through all 10 of them and I'll just note what I can lift on the first day and what I can lift again with my best effort on the last day, so on June 30th. And can I just take a second to talk about the illustration? Like, what's in her hand, right? Are you asking yourself that? Because I was until the very last minute when I figured out what to finally do with it. I had this gold ball that I thought, originally it was like it was going to be a medicine ball. And then I thought, no, it'll be a kettlebell. And then it was like, oh God, it looks like a bowling ball. <laughs> so I made it into a weight plate. That was the best I could do. I kind of regret drawing her arm in that pose. But that's okay, because I turned the page and started fresh, and I ended up with my favorite illustration from the whole notebook on this spread. This girl's my favorite because there's just something so cute about her little face and her little ponytail. I really enjoyed her. Now the spread that she is on is for blood work results. So I have a chart here just to note any um, areas of my blood work from a standard blood panel that come back either like elevated or whatever um, anything that I can improve with weight loss I'm going to list here and I have a spot to put the normal range for whatever panel that I've got and then my score I did leave a highlighted column there blank, and that's just for any notes that I want to take related to my blood work. And at this point, I started to anticipate that I might need um, like a brain dump page for any additional notes that relate to my fitness program. So this spread is just going to be an empty page for, for note taking. Um, but it does give me a chance to talk about the markers a little bit. I really love the Colors of the World marker. They're very, very affordable, and although they don't blend, they do layer. So I was able to get some shadowing effects just by doubling up the marker over itself two to three times. And I love the color palette. I thought it was so sophisticated to have the golden almond rose tones. Uh, that come in the set, everything looks great, mixed and matched. All right, now this spread is one that I'm calling my pounds lost or my pounds to lose map. And I am gonna set a goal of how many pounds I wanna lose and then color in a box for each pound as I lose it. Now, the last time I set up a fitness journal, I had set a goal for myself to lose 50 pounds in seven months. This time my journal only covers six months, so I decided 40 pounds would be the right number for me to strive for. I did love this page and I cannot wait to start coloring in boxes as I lose weight. All right, now this page is gonna be for photo results. And I did a similar spread to this in the last fitness journal. Um, this is one that I made some changes to. And last time I had a place for a picture every month and I had two separate pages, one for like a selfie of just my face and then I had one for like a whole body picture. 
and it just turned out to be too many pictures. So to streamline it, this time I'm only going to include four pictures and I'm not going to separate them for face and body. I'm just going to use a, a full length, full body picture for each one and I'm going to take one on January 1st to get my start point. Um, I'll take one at the end of the six months of course on June 30th and then I thought I would take two at midpoints. So I decided to take the middle two pictures on February 28th and April 30th. It'll be cool to look back on that and see if I can see the weight loss as it's happening. All right, so for this spread, this is gonna be my average daily calories. And another thing that's different from the last fitness journal is last time I included a calorie diary, um, basically a place to write down everything I ate every single day for the whole six months. So this time I've decided that I'm gonna use an app for it and track my calories on my phone. The app I'm using is called Chronometer and it will give me the option to average my calories over a week. Uh, so I will take that weekly average of my daily calories and I will put it in these boxes on this chart. So for the 26 weeks between January and June, I'll have a number of daily calories and then I'll average all of them together and put that in the large box on the right hand side of the spread. That number will reflect my average daily calorie intake for the six months. And we've made it to the last spread of the notebook and the most important one I think it's the results summary. So I'm going to make two little tables here. One of them is for weight and one of them is for measurements. So the box on top is for weight. I'm going to draw this triangle. It's the Greek letter delta and it is an abbreviation for the word change. So that's going to be the change between my weight on January 1st and my weight June 30th. And then on the measurements chart, I have the same thing. I have my start point, my end point, and then I'll take the difference there and record it in the change column and I'll have a complete list of my results. And we're done, we're ready for a final flip through of the fitness journal. Thank you so much for checking out my video today. It's a thrill for me to be able to share it with you guys. If you are looking to make a fitness journal for yourself, I hope that the video inspired you in some way for what you might put inside of it. Or maybe it just inspired you to pick up the Crayola Colors of the World markers. I like them very much and I will definitely be continuing to use those in my bullet journaling this year. I will be posting pictures of all these spreads on my Instagram, which is at brightvioletarts and I will link it in the description box. Now, at the end of this set up, I was only about 30 pages into the notebook, which means I still have quite a few pages left here to play with. And my thought is that I will pick up this notebook again in June and set it up for July through December. But that's it for my setup for the first six months of this year. Thank you again for watching. And until the next video, happy journaling.